Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Sevilla and FC Barcelona. This is going to be a game where Barcelona is going to be playing away and we will be playing at the Estadio Sanchez Pizjuan. It is going to be a very difficult game. Sevilla are having one of the best seasons they have ever had in the history within this club. And looking at this season specifically between Sevilla and FC Barcelona, the results have not been that great for Barcelona. Barcelona has been a team that has not one up against Sevilla in this season. They have tied against Sevilla, which did result in a 1-1 tie at the Camp Nou. And then they have also faced one another in the Copa del Rey match, which did end in a 2-0 loss for FC Barcelona. And now that we are here, now that we are going to be facing Sevilla at their home for a league match, can Barcelona pull this off? Can Barcelona pull off a win? Can they finally show up against tough opponents with Ronald Koeman? Because Barcelona so far in this season have showed up that they can show up against West or Alaves or Levante or any of these lower division teams but every time Barcelona is in a position where they have to face against a team like PSG or Sevilla or Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid Barcelona always tend to fall short but this is going to be a game where they can finally make a statement a statement where Barcelona can say we can win and win great in La Liga in the Champions League and in the Copa del Rey but before we do go further into the pre-match preview I do want to talk about one person and that one person is the legendary Barcelona player and is also considered as a manager now, Xavi Hernandez. I do want to congratulate Xavi Hernandez for what he has achieved with his team. And it says here that the legendary Xavi wins the Qatar Cup with his side, Al Saad, beating Al Duhel 2-0 in the final, which basically means that with this win that Al Saad has achieved with Xavi Hernandez, Xavi Hernandez has won a total of five trophies with this club since 2019. And there has been sources coming from the club. There has been people speaking through the media stating that not only did Xavi Hernandez win five trophies with Al Saad, but he won these five trophies in style. He won it with great football. And that is a huge deal because in the beginning of Xavi's term with Al Saad as a manager, he was being criticized. Many were saying that Xavi Hernandez is not playing the proper football in Qatar. The style of play just doesn't match how the players do want to play within the club. And then there was also a hashtag that was going on throughout the whole social media and it was saying Xavi out. And so it did go into that place. Many people wanted Xavi Hernandez to be out from Al Saad and the fact that he came out from that up until today, winning a total of five trophies with Al Saad, Xavi is a winner. Xavi is a manager that does like to solve problems and not only solve problems, but do it in the correct way. Xavi has shown that he can get it right. There is going to be some stumbling blocks in the beginning, but he has shown that he can come out in tough situations. And throughout all of these wins and winning all of these finals with Al Saad, Xavi Xavi Hernandez at the same time has also explained that he would love to coach FC Barcelona and that is something very exciting to hear not only for the Barcelona club but for the fans because the fact that Xavi Hernandez was experiencing this success and in and instilling this type of football with Al Saad and at the same time also saying that I want to coach Barcelona Xavi Hernandez does seem very very eager to coach Barcelona eventually and we are going to be seeing that very very soon my friends but now going back into the pre-match preview I want to clear one thing out when it comes to Barcelona playing in the league. I do believe that Barcelona going up against Sevilla in tomorrow's night's match, they need to look for a win. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there has been many statements going on and especially in Barcelona that they should just forget about the league. They should they should completely forget about La Liga and just focus on winning the Copa del Rey or the Champions League. But if you were to look at the league right now and seeing where Barcelona does stand, yes, Barcelona do have the upper hand and they also do have more games in hand. But mathematically, it is still very possible for Barcelona to achieve at least second place within La Liga. And the reason why that is so important is because every time a club is very consistent within the league and you come out with great wins, that is going to show that you are still very determined to do very well in the season overall. And when you are doing very well in La Liga, that is also going to be reflecting in the Champions League and in the Copa del Rey. Which is why I do believe that having the approach of saying that we should just completely forget about the league and just focus on the other trophies, that is something that does not resonate well in the Barcelona badge. Barcelona is a club that should be competing for every title as long as it is mathematically possible. And there is still a great goal that Barcelona has to achieve, which is to qualify for the Champions League. We must remain within the top four. And looking at the teams that Barcelona also do need to face for the rest of this season, we still have to play against Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, and many other well-built teams. Barcelona still have a very big job in hand within La Liga, and Barcelona 
Barcelona can simply just not let this go and slip away from their hands. But now I do want to move towards the squad list. Looking at the squad list here, we can see that everyone is here. One very noticeable player that has been featured within the squad list has been Ronald Araujo. Ronald Araujo is finally back. He was training in yesterday's morning session and he was training today. Ronald Araujo is officially clear to play up against Sevilla. He will be used. This is a big win for Ronald Koeman and he will be starting in the starting 11 and ready to face Sevilla. Another player that is also here is Moriba. Moriba was out from the squad list for the past two matches because he did have a duty with Barcelona B. But Moriba is here. Hopefully we do get to see some minutes in tomorrow's night's match depending on how the result does go. But the one player that will be missing will be Pjanic. Pjanic is not going to be featuring in the squad list. It has been stated that he is suffering from a right ankle discomfort which basically means that we could be seeing other players, other youth players, potentially get some minutes within the midfield. There is no exact date on when Pjanic is going to be back, but hopefully he does come back as soon as possible. Now, the other topic that we do need to discuss is about the starting 11 Ronald Koeman should place up against Sevilla. Because looking at the squad list here, it is very possible to build a very well team that's capable to take down Sevilla at their home. Yes, Sevilla is also a team that allows a total of 0.6 goals per 90 minutes, but Barcelona do have the quality players in order to completely shut down Sevilla. And one of the greatest examples on doing so has been in that match between Borussia Dortmund and Sevilla on that Champions League night. The main reason why Dortmund came out with a great win up against Sevilla, it was because of their high press. Their midfielders were very attentive on who had the ball in the opposition side and their capabilities of always transitioning very quickly in terms of the attack. That is the reason why Sevilla have suffered. Dortmund were doing everything extremely right once they did head towards Sevilla's half. And looking at the type of qualities Dortmund did possess and what they had to do to take down Sevilla, Barcelona are no different. Barcelona do have the players to do the exact same thing. And the only reason why Barcelona have been struggling to do so and bring great results up against Sevilla has been because of the player selection. The starting 11 has not been ideal so far under Ronald Koeman every time we did face up against Sevilla. Barcelona do have the right players in their disposal and it is very possible to bring a starting 11 that can act as a kryptonite to weaken Sevilla. And Ronald Koeman has said this within the pre-match press conference. Veteran players have tried to take control, but they can't do it alone either. Messi has 17 to 18 goals, the same as everyone else put together. The responsibility must be shared. And Koeman has made it quite clear. Messi has been the only player that has been taking a humongous amount of goals, but it can be fixed. The possibility of sharing those goals with other players such as Dembele, Trincao, Antoine Griezmann, maybe sometimes Ricky Puj, maybe sometimes Frankie de Jong, maybe sometimes Pedri, it is still very, very much possible. But what could that starting 11 look like? What could be that starting 11 where many other players besides Lionel Messi can't score goals up against Sevilla? So here is going to be my predicted starting 11 for tomorrow's night's match. I do expect to see Mark andre to stay in goal, Jordi Alba as the left back, Ronald Araujo and Piquet as the center back duo. I do expect to see Ronald Araujo and Piquet not only starting together in this match but for the rest of this season. I do also believe that Minguesa is going to be starting as a right back. As for the midfield, I do want to see Frankie de Jong as the central defensive midfielder, Ricky Puj as the interior and Pedri acting as the other interior. As for the front three, I want to see Trincao as a right winger. I really do want to see that. And then, for, and then as for Lionel Messi, he is going to be acting as a center forward. And then as for Dembele, he will be the left winger for Ronald Koeman. I do not see Antoine Griezmann starting against Sevilla. I do believe that it is very, very important to have pacey players on both sides of the field in order to weaken Sevilla's defense. But there are three big key points that I do want to make about this starting 11 and why I believe this is the starting 11 that can get a great result. Number one is going to be Minguesa. Minguesa has shown that he can be a great starter solid right back. Has he shown the tendencies of being a great attacker just like Serginho Dest when he does end up in that final third area? He hasn't, but Minguesa is still a very solid right back in terms of defending, tracking back. He is doing the job. And as for Serginho Dest, I do think that he is going through a slump. His confidence has not been that high, but he will improve. He is still a very young player, but he just needs time. But for this game against Sevilla, Minguesa would be ideal. As for point number two, I do want to call out Trincao. Trincao right now is going on a uphill. We have seen 
seen what Trincao has done in the previous match. Trincao was playing tremendously well, taking on players, looking for the goal. He is looking very dangerous. I do believe that Trincao is finally being unlocked, and I do want to see Trincao cause damage towards Sevilla because he truly, truly does deserve it. And point number three is going to be Ricky Puj. Ricky Puj has to be starting in the starting 11. We were talking about how Borussia Dortmund were pressuring Sevilla very well in the midfield that allowed them to score goals. Ricky Puj and Pedri and Frankie De Jong put together can't do that damage. They can't bring the ball back into their possession as soon as possible and look for those passes into the final third. And this is going to be the conclusion. This is not going to be the last time Barcelona will be facing Sevilla. Barcelona is also going to be facing Sevilla next week on Wednesday at the Camp Nou. If Barcelona can come out with a great win against Sevilla tomorrow night and starting these group of players within the field, that is going to greatly help Barcelona's confidence on going into that second game up against Sevilla and come out from that 2-0 deficit in order to reach the final. This is why I do say that the league is still very important and it is still very important for a reason. is to win games like this and go on into cup semifinal matches and completely destroy the opposition. And if there was one team that would be able to do that, it would be Ronald Koeman's Barcelona. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona pre-match preview. Let me know what's going to be your predicted starting 11 and your scoreline between Barcelona and Sevilla. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.